the animal behavior of killing the mate during or after copulation, and then devouring it, is known as sexual cannibalism. Although not common in most animal species, there are some where this behavior has been observed. But which animals exhibit this behavior? Today, in Animalistic, we will explore five animals in which this behavior has been documented on various occasions. Black widow spiders are known for their marked size difference between males and females. Females are usually considerably larger than males, increasing the likelihood of sexual cannibalism. Often, females kill the male after copulation, which may be related to the need for additional nutrients for egg production. But one of the most famous examples of sexual cannibalism in the animal kingdom undoubtedly involves praying mantises, where females are known to devour males during or after mating. However, the less known fact is that during courtship, the male approaches the female and sometimes offers a gift, such as prey wrapped in silk, to appease her and reduce the likelihood of being devoured. In some species of coral snakes, mating can be a complicated process. Although not as common as in other species, they have been observed engaging in sexual cannibalism, where the female attacks or consumes the male after mating. This can occur immediately after copulation or in the hours or days following. Scorpions of the genus Tigius, like black widow spiders, also exhibit a marked difference in size between males and females. Females are usually larger and more robust than males, who are smaller and more delicate. After copulation, some female tigus scorpions may display sexual cannibalism if the male does not withdraw quickly. Sexual cannibalism in centipedes, such as Geophilus carpophagus and Lithobius forficatus, is a behavior that has also been documented in certain circumstances.